Good day, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. Today, the market was a bit slow, and uh, we still have a few uh, charts open. We just finished for the afternoon session, the CL five minutes. It just closed for the afternoon session. It is 29.50. The Nasdaq is uh, two minutes, it's still in the trades. And then the YM, it is uh, 23.60 on the YM. This strategy is very easy, simple, uh, does not require that much um, indicators and filters and moving averages. It's a very straightforward strategy and uh, very simple to maintain. Uh, the YM four minutes is 26.75. Uh, this one here is still uh, not hit the afternoon session. The ES is still on trade 9.50, and the ES nine range is still 1,100, and uh, we still have the eight range on the last trade 1,000. Uh, for the CL uh, today, uh, also finished uh, now recently. Uh, the afternoon session was 26.30 and then uh, we have the CL9 range it did 1720 and then uh, we have the 3 minutes YM did 2235 and then we have the CL400 takes did uh, 2450 and then we have the CL7 range 1320 and then we did the uh, YM two minutes. Uh, it was 18.35. And uh, this one here is still in the trade uh, DAX. And then uh, we have the CL eight range. Uh, finished around the morning session. Finished around 11.30. And then uh, this one here finished around 1.18. You can see how flat the market is on the CL two minutes. And then uh, we have the NASDAQ uh, five minutes 32.40. And then uh, we have the CL one minute uh, finish around 11.30 and it was 27.70. And then uh, we have the CL on the six range uh, 13.50. Uh, I wanna cover a little bit uh, about uh, uh, the Bitcoin today, I want to just share uh, what we are looking at. Uh, the Bitcoin, as you see here, uh, we are still trying to get, stay on that number uh, uh, 30, uh, on the 30, which is the magic number everybody been waiting on. But it's a matter of time before they cross it. And, uh, and then we have the... Uh, the main concern is the 32 level, not the 30 level. The 30 level, we're going to be uh, struggling between target one, target two, and target three profit taking, and might go back to the 30 level, even if it break out. It's not going to be a heavy breakout. It's going back to the retesting the 30. But the most important, the Ethereum, because there is a lot of news about the Ethereum, some people that might sell the ethereum there is a new upgrade on the ethereum is unknown where is the ethereum is going but the key here the f key factor on this one here is the 1905 as long as we maintain above uh, 1905 uh, uh, we are in a good shape because as we notice uh, the uh, the ethereum we had a, the reversal and I come in exactly to the re-entry point at uh, 1905. So it is really crucial. We need to keep maintaining above the 1905 on the Ethereum. However, if this market had dropped, if this market dropped, because if it's going to generate some sales in Hong Kong or somewhere else, this is, is going to be the first stop, it will be 1892, and the re-entry, it will be 1870. So hopefully, we are able to do some other breakout. And then 
On the Ethereum, we are expecting some profit taking on 1939, which it did happen earlier today. If you notice here, this has happened. And then the second profit is 1945, and the third profit is 1955. So those level here, you need to um, uh, keep your eye on. And um, uh, the question is, if somebody not familiar with our system, uh, how you can trade with all those lines is untradeable. When you see this uh, lot of uh, lines, this mean it's not a tradable area. Where if we notice here on the Bitcoin, it's a very clear area. If the Bitcoin dropped, the re-entry point is going to be somewhere around 25, 29.5 level as a re-entry for a day trading. We're not your financial advisor, so whatever you do, um, it is at your own risk. But uh, those are, there is 29,500 and there is uh, 29,200. Those are the re-entry for the Bitcoin. And, uh, and uh, it seems like uh, the, the Ethereum maintained above the 1905. So we are heading to the target one and target two profit taking on those levels so you gotta be very careful uh, with uh, the crypto uh, if you are on a daily basis there is no major breakout uh, at this moment there is no major breakout and it's not going to fly there is a lot of uh, 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 profit taken on those levels and plus we're gonna bump in to some major uh, resistance at 32 levels so the key is the 32 level if we experience or if we able to cross the 32 level this mean the the bitcoin is on really a very nice right uh, to the long side and a good hood hit the 35 and then up depends on the market but uh, it's a matter of time before we cross this level and uh, the next bridge we need to worry about is the 32 level. It's very important to cross the 32 level. I hope this will help you. And um, don't expect too much on the Ethereum again, because it's going to be like when the market hit the target one, as you see here earlier today, was a profit taken with a, a reversal. So what is going to happen is going to be some kind of profit taken at 1945 again, and I might go back retesting the support area. This is from the technical side. Now, for from the fundamental side, there is two type of a trading. There is technical and fundamental. So there is many rumors about the Ethereum uh, is going to drop, and there is some people they are very optimistic about the uh, Ethereum. Uh, this is not my business. I don't know. I cannot protect or predict um, what is going to happen. Uh, based on fundamental but based on the technical that's what we look at and in my experience uh, despite all the news and everything if you stick on the technical side uh, you will have a better clear vision uh, what's going on folks that's all what we have for you today uh, we wish you the best and uh, we will see you uh, some other day thank you very much god bless everyone bye for now